What's up guys, Eddie here with Eddie's Customs and Restorations. Real quick, I got the Miller 211, the Miller Matic 211, and I hit the switch back here to turn it on and off, because it was actually on and I thought I had it off, so I turned it, I turned it off instead. So immediately I ended up hitting the switch to turn it back on and I heard a huge explosion. And all it was, you take a series of, of bolts off, you know, so there's, there's some up here. There's a couple of bolts all the way around. And that takes this whole housing off, right? And I inspected it. And right in here, there is a transistor. That one had blown up. The transistor I'm talking about is this one. This one's the old one. So it blew up like this, it literally, you know, shot that chunk out. And I ordered some new ones from, uh, I believe the company's called Mauser Electronics. These things are dirt cheap. You know, they, uh, they sent me four, I ordered four. It was like 20, 24 bucks, I think it was for all four, including shipping. So, um, let me give you the part number in case you guys ever run into this. So that is part number TOP257YN. Uh, the one that is on the machine, it was a YI, I believe, but the YN works. So all you got to do is, I'm going to post a, a few pictures here. There's a board, which is this board right here. You're going to take that screw off, that screw off, there's another one down there, there's another one there, there's another one down below there. You're going to take all of these screws out, all of these right here. When you're putting this back together, make sure you don't tighten this too much because you can break those. So just, you know, lightly, just barely snug, barely, just ever so slightly. You know, there's another screw right there, another one up there. So make sure you look for all the screws 100% and you have a, a guide pin right here so that just helps you align the board um, and then disconnect all these connections of course and wiggle all these connections off and the way you're going to get to to removing this guy is through the back you're going to apply you know you're going to unsolder this this deal you're going to unsolder it off from the back side so once you have the board in your hand You're going to unsolder it from, from the backside and you're going to push. And what I ended up doing was I just cut all these legs off. I just cut them all off and then I, I put my soldering gun right at the back and I would, I would let the solder melt and then I would push it through and then I would pull it out through this side. I would just pull out all the little legs that were still left in there. And then, of course, once the holes were now present, I just pushed this guy in and, you know, soldered it back in. Uh, as far as this guy goes here, I have it touching, so I have it to where it's like cr uh, clamped on to the transistor. I'm not sure if that's the way it's supposed to go, but I did it because that's how it was before. So, uh, yeah, that was this guy, and uh, the way this ended up happening was, like I said in the very beginning, I turned it off and then turned it back on, and then boom, just a huge explosion right here. So, it works now. I'm still a little afraid of it, you know, when I turn it on, but I'm going to turn it on right now. So there we are, just clicked on, and it's, it's on again. It wasn't before, so it was completely dead. So this is it. It's a switch. It's a transistor switch. So with this, you won't be able to switch your, your welder on and off. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Until next time.